Hi, I am Bram Belder from Emerson Process Management, Marine Tank Management. Often marine customers ask us to supply a user-friendly integrated marine tank management system which can control and operate all tank-related functions such as level gauging, valve control and pump start-stop. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you here. User-friendly, completely integrated and of course built up from certified products, class certified products. The basis is our user-friendly touchscreen operable interface. Then we have our actuators with or without LPUs, I'll come back to that later, linear and rotary and we have our tank level gauging systems either uh, by means of an air bubbler or by means of a static pressure sensor. And of course for oil tankers, FPSOs etc we have our radar systems, our cargo monitoring systems. The user friendliness comes from the control part. We have our own automation system called MTM and it's operated through a touchscreen or by means of a keyboard and a tracker ball. In this setup you see one screen we call vision. However, in one location you can have multiple screens for redundancy and you can of course have screens in a number of locations in the vessel. Ballast control room, engine control room and in the wheelhouse. The mimics we use are very user friendly. By choosing F2 for example you can walk through all available mimics. In this case for example a main engine where you can see all relevant temperatures, pressures etc. But of course there's also a possibility where you look in a conventional hydraulic system to the power unit where you can see the pressures, the temperatures of the uh, oil tank etc. Here you see a globe valve, a linear valve with a KFR single acting spring return actuator and a so-called local power unit single acting or an LPUS. The feature of this special KFR actuator is that you can operate it manually and that by the first time operating it remotely the remote system engages again so no dangerous situations can occur. Here we have a high performance butterfly valve with a double acting actuator and a so-called mini LPU specifically designed for smaller actuators and valves. The actuator is double acting, linear, it's mounted in this case on a bracket and it's completely balanced 90 degrees. It has of course, like the other actuator, a built-in uh, uh, open-close or 90 degree one, 0 to 100 percent position indication and it is operated by means of one or two cables. It can be used in a system whereby the actuator and the LPU is either controlled from a central point or where LPUs are mounted in series in a so-called PNET configuration. A more detailed look at our LPUs. Each LPU has two quick connections where a, a portable hand pump can be connected for emergency connections or they can be replaced by two fixed connections up to a certain level where when there's a calamity and the LPU is flooded you are still able to operate it. Although the unit when connected correctly by the electrical cable and the cover can be used in an IP68 situation. Here you also have some uh, uh, controls where you can control the flow of the LPU, uh, you can adjust the position indication, etc. Each actuator has a local visual position indication on top of the electrical position indication which, as said, can be open close or 0 to 100%. Even our linear actuators have local visual position indication like you see here. This indicates that at this moment the valve is closed. And for our KFR actuators, our linear single acting actuators, we have the hand pump feature which can be easily connected by means of this knob 
and which disengages again as soon as the valve is operated from a remote location. The LPUD is also available in an EXD execution, so it can be applied in explosion hazardous atmospheres. The Mini LPU is like the LPU, operable by means of two quick connections and it is again mounted directly to the actuator. As said before, all the products are classified by the major classification societies and by the local authorities. Another important part of a marine tank management system is tank level gauging. Marine tank management can offer you three types of level gauging which can be applied depending on the usage. The first one is our level datic air bubbling system. The pressure by which the air escapes at the bottom of the pipe is a means of the static height of the fluid which it is measuring. The output of the system can be connected either by means of 4 to 20 milliamps to the signal system or by means of a bus connection. A second sensor MTM can offer you is the so-called MAS2600 sensor which is a static pressure sensor either mounted in the tank itself or mounted on the side of the tank. The output of the sensor is a 4 to 20 milliamp signal which can be easily imported in the system. A third type of tank level gauging is our radar system or cargo monitoring system. Here you see our tank gauging unit with a parabolic antenna and uh, we are also offering now our so-called TGU-58 which is also with a parabolic antenna. The only thing is that the antenna is an integral part of the mounting flange and thereby the total diameter of the unit and the height on deck is uh, very much reduced. So that's it. I hope I have been able to show you how Emerson Marine Tank Management integrates all their certified products in a user-friendly and integrated system. I hope to see you soon. In case you need further information, please visit our website or call your local Emerson Marine Tank Management agent or representative.